just above it, even with those cooler temperatures going into the weekend. And now we got to talk about the soaker. So this system exits and then we're so uh, focused on this one that's coming out of parts of Oklahoma and the panhandle of Texas. Yes, there's snow with it down here. No, there won't be by the time it gets to us. In fact, this is going to be a pretty vigorous system. Got a pretty decent uh, shot at severe weather here across parts of Mississippi, Alabama on up through Nashville. Notice that that severe risk stops there in central Indiana and Ohio. So we're expecting to see rain and quite a bit of it, but it looks like we'll skip out on the rough stuff. So getting through the rest of tonight, I think we're going to be with dry conditions and then we'll finally start to see a little bit of sunshine tomorrow morning to start daylight hours tomorrow looking dry. But once we get closer to about seven o'clock in the afternoon and evening, that's where we're going to start to see those showers develop in the south zone. And once that rain is here, it is going to be consistent and heavy at times. These are rainfall rates and they're going to be over a half an inch per hour, possibly closer to an inch per hour. And again, that's instantaneous rates. We're still expecting to see over an inch of rain total from this, but it will spiral around, be with us probably through the morning commute and then wrap up before the noon hour on Friday. Look at these totals, one to one and a half inches and maybe some cases even more than that by the time this system wraps up before noon on Friday. So lows tonight are going down into the uh, 50s or I should say 40s in spots. 63 will be that high temperature officially tomorrow, but because we're going to be dry with the southwest wind, we're going to be seeing those mid 60 degree highs again, slightly cooler than today, but still well above average. Maybe a 59 down here in Luna Pier, but a lot of 60s in the west zone as well. 62, 63 for most locations there. And the north zone, we're looking at just upper 50s in Sandalite County with low to mid 60s elsewhere. The other thing we're watching tomorrow, of course, or th Thursday into Friday, I should say, is the wind. Some of those wind gusts right during that morning commute on Friday could be topping 45 miles per hour. So, Kim, a lot to look at there in the seven day forecast with our eyes focused on Friday. Yes. Okay, Ben, thank you. Mm -hmm.